Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Anthony Aguilar and Matthew Thomas and Angel Romero. And in this video, we're just going to give you a bunch of tips on how to better your PFT. So, obviously, I'm going to be doing the pull up stuff. And if you don't believe me, <laughs> all right. Yeah. And now we got him with the. I'm going to help you out with your run time because yeah. I get sub 18 minute three mile, which a lot of people don't get. But I have some tips and stuff like that might help out uh, get your run time lower. And then Angel's. I'm gonna do core. Speak up. <laughs> speak up. Speak up. Yeah, sorry for no, uh, no, no, just keep going. Go. And then I'm gonna be showing you guys some tips and tricks when it comes to crunches and then now the plank, which is being impl implemented. Implement. Good job. <laughs> implemented. That's it. That's it. All right, so the number one tip for pull ups is first you have to correct your form because if you do pull ups and you don't reach all the rules that the Marine Corps has, you're, they're not gonna count the rep, okay? So, <clears throat> different stuff like this. So if you're kipping in order to get your pull up, they won't count that. Kip a little bit more than that. Yeah, so anything like that, if you're losing a lot of momentum or if your chin does not go over the bar, that won't count. Or if you don't lock out, so go up but don't lock out. Like if you're just right there, even go a little bit lower, that still doesn't count. So you wanna be very, what's the word? Specific. Specific in the way you train. All right, so another thing that you wanna do is when you're doing your pull-ups, you wanna go for as little time under tension as you can, tension. So you wanna go up as fast as possible, just get your chin barely above the bar, just enough so that it counts, and then drop down. If you waste all your energy just doing slow reps like this, you're gonna decrease the amount that you actually get. So as fast as possible. Like that, all right. Um, another tip that I have in order to increase your reps is mastering every single part of the pull-up. So, you want to practice just holding yourself with your chin above the bar, going back down here, and coming back up. Because this is the hardest part of the pull-up, is this right here. So if you want to increase your reps, definitely just work on that. And if you're just starting out and let's say you're under five pull-ups, something that you can use is a resistance band. So if you could get access to one of these, this will really help you out. So what you do is you just toss it over, bring this, put it through the loop, shake it down so that it's tight, and then hop on. All right, we'll just pull up. So basically what it does is the bottom part of it is going to be a lot easier, and it's gonna help you practice that full range of motion. All right, and let's say you're a little bit more advanced, so let's say anything 15 and above, I recommend that you can start doing weighted pull-ups. The way you do this is you get one of these dip belts, from either at the gym or you could buy one online. You strap it on. So another thing is choosing the width at which you do your pull-ups. So I recommend just going shoulder width because if you go really wide, you're focusing on mainly your lats. And if you go super close, you're focusing on mainly your biceps. So you want to divide the, divide the, Overload. Yeah, divide the load between the two muscle groups. So if you go just perfectly shoulder width, just like this, then you'll have more power and you'll be dividing the load. So, all right, and another important tip is to stop crossing your legs. What this does is it creates an imbalance. Trust me, you don't need to cross your legs. So just bring up straight and practice your pull-ups like that. It also engages your core and you'll be able to get more reps. Hey, what's going on everybody? So when it comes to the Marine Corps setups, the main thing you want to focus on, remember, is your form. So I'll demonstrate the points that... So first things first, Press a piece, you suck a your partner like this, making sure your feet are stable to the ground, flat. Um, what is easier is if, you're, is if your gluteus maximus is close to the heels of your feet just because it's easier and you don't have that long of a distance to go up. So another thing that they look at is to make sure that your arms are on your biceps. And then when you come up, you wanna make sure your elbows are touching your mid thigh. Another trick is when you're coming up to breathe in and then exhale on your way up so like this. All right, so now the Marine Corps is also implementing a four minute, 20 second plank. So to properly execute that, you need to have your forearms, forearms, forearms on the deck, your hands flat, knife hands. You cannot move them. Your toes also need to be on the ground. You cannot move. If you move, your time is over. 
Now you want to make sure that your core is engaged the entire time. Please don't forget to breathe. <laughs> like this. Your butt needs to be down as well. It needs to be level to the ground. So an exercise I like to do to build my core strength is just get on a bar like this and you can just lift your legs like this, keeping your core engaged the entire time. Another good one is lifting your legs like this. Another good exercise to target your core is flutter kicks. So you just put your hands under your butt and let it just go like this. Keeping your core engaged. Am I in the background? And then after, <laughs> Am I in the background? just holding for 10 seconds, keeping that six inches. Okay guys, so next would be your run time. And for the PFT, you need to get sub 18 minutes to have a perfect score in your PFT. And something that I've been able to do to maintain my 300 PFT is on Sundays, I do interval sprints. So to get better at long distance running, you can't just be doing long distance. So long distance does help, but working in those interval sprints and high intensity running is really will make the difference long term. So what I do is I go to a football field or a track and set my timer on my phone for one minute, run the 100 yards, and then whatever time is left for that one minute is my rest time. So say it'll be 30 seconds and I'm like 30 to 40 seconds for the rest time. As soon as that time ends, start the timer again, run back. You do that 10 times, so you're having very minimal rest time. It's not letting you catch your breath really, and it'll really expand your like cardio, uh, stamina. Yeah, just your overall cap for your stamina and your uh, endurance will really increase. You wanna be able to maintain. A lot of people, what they do in their PFT is they go balls to the wall off the off the rip and then you get gassed really early on i go very very slow at the beginning let everyone pass me and then it's my goal during the pft to pass everyone in front of me so they gas themselves off the bat and then you need to really warm up your body and then you can go really hard once you hit like the halfway point or something like that so and then another part for the run obviously hydration and your nutrition so with hydration you need to make sure you're having potassium and sodium before and drinking a lot of water 24 to 48 hours before and then just eat complex carbs before and it'll sustain energy throughout your run. Alright guys, one more thing is if you go DM Sergeant Major Bull, he will be happy to help you out. He has this great cardio program and uh, yeah, just do that. Alright guys, so if you follow all that, you're definitely going to get better at your PFT. If you have any questions, you can hit any of us up at here, here, or here. Hopefully that worked. The biggest thing is consistency. So actually just working on this every single week, the way you're going to get better at pull-ups is by doing pull-ups. Same thing with crunches, same thing at running. You know, you can't avoid that. So Absolutely. anything else? Just hope that helped, guys. Hope you guys learned something. And just like he said, if you have any questions, just DM us. Leave a comment below. If maybe if we missed something, we could make another video about it. We're just trying to help you guys out. Maybe get a little better, more insight. Do you have anything? No, thanks for watching. Uh <laughs> Okay, guys. So yeah, that was our tips and tricks on. The, uh, if you have any questions, run time. The biggest thing, guys, with any of as go, guys, with the run, pull up, sit up. So if you just train it hard over a consistent period of time and work on. Hey, y'all. What's going on? Matthew Thomas here. We're back again with another video on how to increase your PFT score. Biggest thing, guys, is just consistency. I'm gonna show you that. I want a different way. I want a different way to say it instead of just being like I get. Yeah, catch y'all in the next video. <laughs> hand, hand, <laughs> double hand.